Okay, so far in our journey into differential equations, we've covered first order differential equations that model exponential growth or decay, and we normally write these in the form of dy on dx equals ky for exponential growth, and dy on dx equals negative ky for exponential decay. Both of these examples fall under the umbrella of what we call separable equations. And that's because we have separable variables. So think of these two equations as the simplest form of separable equations and we're just extending the idea further into a more general sense. Because we've learned that for a function y that's dependent on x, the derivative, which can be expressed as dy on dx, or the quotient of two differentials, We've learned that these are separable, so they don't have to stay together. So if we had a differential equation, dy on dx equals, and we can express the right-hand side as some function of x multiplied by some function of y, we can follow the same process in solving these simpler differential equations by separating the variables which means getting all the y's on the left-hand side and getting all the x's on the right-hand side. So in this instance, I can rearrange and write dy on g of y equals f of x by dx. Okay, so note that we can only write the right-hand side of the equation in this form if the variables are separable. And then finding the solution is a matter of integrating both sides once we've isolated the variables to their respective sides. So note that if the equations are not separable, we cannot use this method. We'll have to use a method that we'll explore as we advance this topic. But for now, let's do an example of separable variables. Let's solve the differential equation dy on dx equals x plus xy. Okay, so remember we want to write the equation in the form of dy dx equals some function of x by some function of y. So in this example, we can factor out the x's. So if I take the x out of the two terms, I have x outside of 1 plus y. So I have successfully separated the variables and got what I wanted. So x is a function of x and 1 plus y is a function of y. And I can now just rearrange the equation to get all the y's on the left. So we have dy on 1 plus y and all of the x's on the right. So we have x by dx. And to find the solution, it's a matter of integrating both sides. So the left-hand side integrates to log, or the natural log of 1 plus y. And the right-hand side integrates to x squared on 2. So that's just a simple power integral. And of course, we always include an arbitrary constant of integration. So we've got an implicit solution. To get an explicit solution, which just means isolating y, we can exponentiate both sides. So we have e log e to the log of 1 plus y equals e to the x squared on 2 plus c. This can be rewritten as e to the x squared on 2 by e to the c, which we can write more conveniently as capital A, where capital A equals e to the c, by e to the x squared on 2. Of course, e has the effect of cancelling out the log, so we have 1 plus y equals a by e to the x squared on 2, and to get the explicit solution, I'll just move this 1 to the other side. So we have y equals a by e to the x squared on 2 minus 1. Okay, that will do it for this video. We will familiarize you more with the concept of separable equations in the next few videos. But for now, if you found this video helpful, please give me a like and please subscribe for more videos that may help you with your studies. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, use the comments below. Any little tips will go a long way into helping me do more of this, so the instructions for donating will be in the description below. Okay, thank you in advance. For now, best of luck with your studies, and I'll see you on the next video.